Garrett Blevins here, excited to train again with Dr. Jacob Gooden, who is behind the camera here at PLNU's College for Health Sciences. Now, I've had a little bit of time away from lower body movements. One, because I had a hamstring injury, but two, because I've just been super busy the last month and a half to two months. So I want to figure out where my strength levels are. I've been doing upper body work and testing out new programs, as some of you may have seen from my past videos. But I want to start kicking off some of the new training that we're doing with the DUP style for lower body as well. And maybe even some stuff we're going to get in where we'll start pulling back some deloads. More on that later on, so stay tuned for program updates. But today I have not squatted or deadlifted in at least a month. I have no idea where my strength levels are and I'm gonna start with high bar and just do a triple. I wanna figure out where my high bar strength is. Um, I may use a belt, may not use a belt, haven't decided yet, but I wanna to try to get away from low bar where I'm pretty familiar with my strength levels and just do something a little bit different. Then I'm gonna do uh, sumo deadlift. Haven't sumo deadlifted for about two months um, and so that's very detrained. Again, I'm gonna work up to a heavy triple. That's gonna let me know where my strength levels are and that's what I'm gonna use as the starting point for the block for my maxes and then I'll work forward from there. I have decided I'm going to use the belt today. Still warming up on squats for high bar. I haven't done really uh, high bar or heeled shoes in quite a while. So I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on pushing into my quads while I'm doing these warm ups. Again, just trying to get away from low bar and trying to do some stuff as I'm coming back from a time of not training. I'm less used to. That's a good way to reintroduce yourself to training. You're not going to feel so much pressure to hit certain numbers when you're doing exercises you're not as familiar with. So that'll be the goal for today on squats. Um, hopefully they at least get over 500 for the triple but we'll see. Hamstring feels good right now, no pain. A little funky doing like heel shoots, that first, first set even just with warm-ups I got forward. So definitely gonna have to watch that. When I miss a high bar squat, it's definitely because I get forward out of the groove, then I start feeling a lot in my lower back, which is not what I'm searching for. Really wanting to stack my joints, make sure I'm feeling a connection all the way from here, straight into my like tailbone, all the way through like there's a metal rod holding me. Keeping that almost vertical and really allowing my legs to do the work. That's why I've got heeled shoes on. I have ankle mobility issues. I broke and dislocated this ankle in high school playing football. And so I just cannot move uh, through ankle flexion far enough to actually keep that position. So that's why I'm using the heeled shoes. If you don't have those issues, you don't need expensive weightlifting heeled shoes to do squats. You can squat in flats or, you know, just make sure you have something stable to work with. Still feeling good. Uh, gonna jump another plate to 405. So, another tip if you're coming back to working out from a long uh, period of time off is to find the thickest possible plates so you don't feel bad about yourself as you load it up. Garrett likes to think about his whole life before he lifts. We've been standing here for 10 minutes. Well, starting to feel a little bit heavier. Um, still moving good, gonna move up uh, 25 on each side. We'll see how that feels. Let's go Garrett.
guys Turned one of those, yeah, thanks, good. Uh, turned one of those into a low bar. Bar rolled on me a little bit on the second rep. Um, that's just not being used to high bar squatting, but I'm gonna go up one more. I'm gonna try for five plates. I think I can get that for three. And then that'll uh, be what I use to establish my high bar max that I'm gonna be using in this block of training as I reintroduce myself both to squatting and to regular programming. Folks at home, don't feel bad if your starting point is not five plates on the back squat. Go Garrett, stay tight, lock it in. Push, 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 push. Woo. Well, yeah, buddy. I'd probably put it actually around an eight and a half or a nine, only because it was turning more and more into a low bar. Uh, my hips were coming back, losing a little bit of tightness out of this knee, shifting in. Uh, which is it commonly happens with me going heavy, but haven't been off. I haven't squatted, you know, six weeks or so. I feel like it's a good starting spot. Um, I'm gonna be trying to build from here. I'm assuming uh, triple, uh, it's probably about 87%-ish, somewhere in there of my one rep max. So can't do that math on camera, but somewhere in the mid fives uh, for a high bar max. And I'll use that for my training going forward. Expecting some pretty good gains each week as I reclaim old ground. But yeah, pretty happy with that. That's the number I was targeting. One hard set, and now you're complaining. Yeah. Yeah. And you're gonna use the belt. Yep, when do you use the belt? When do you use the belt in training, Garrett? When I feel like it. When your shirt's tucked in? When my shirt is tucked in. I've started doing that recently, it just feels like it fits better. Like it snugs down, especially if I've got like, if you have like a band on your shorts like this, and if that's like, just under your belt in one spot. It just feels funky, so I wanna make sure I basically have the belt right on top of that, and then it fits in the most most snug, so. When I'm wearing my Lycra spandex suit, to train it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you never wear the one I got you. Yeah, there's, there's a reason. I just can't remember what it is right now. All right. Gonna get 405 for three. See how it feels. Again, haven't deadlifted in a long time. This is also what I did to injure my hamstring, so I'm really feeling this out uh, right now, but we'll see. Okay, right, 405. Warm up set. in underneath uh, on that first rep. The first rep felt really good, so gonna move up. I think I'm just gonna go five plates and see if I can do a triple. Already warmed up from squatting, so I'm just gonna kinda go for it, get that set in, and uh, that'll be really easy to remember because they're both the same weight, and they fill up the whole bar, so voila. <laughs> Let's go.
Come on. There you go. Yeah, it felt easy. Um, you know, multiple reps on deadlifts come a lot easier than multiple reps on squat. That was definitely easier than the triple uh, that I did for squat. Uh, first rep felt pretty good too. I'd probably place that at like a six or a seven, but given that the bar is full and uh, there's no, you know, thinner, thinner plates to go heavier, uh, hiding over there. Yeah, don't show them, no, don't, no. don't show those. Um, this is as heavy as I'm gonna go, but it gives me a good starting point. My hamstring didn't really hurt on that either, so I feel like I'm in a good spot to start a little bit more consistent lower body work to add to the upper body work that I'm doing, uh, which is at a perfect time. As I mentioned earlier, we're looking into creating some deloadless training. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't easy weeks, but uh, Kristen Dunsmore, Dr. Good, and myself, we're putting our heads together. We're gonna be adding some different training into Evolve AI. So part of what we're doing there, I wanna test it out. I like to test all the programs we put in, at least the principles of it in the gym. Sometimes you write something on paper and it seems like it makes sense, but you get into the gym and it just doesn't add up. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of that as we move forward, as well as testing out some of the day, uh, daily undulating periodization uh, principles we've also been looking into. So lots of exciting things happening, but um, pretty happy, successful day, didn't get injured, hit the weights I wanted, uh, 495. It has clips, I'm gonna call it 500. 500 on squat, 500 on deadlift for triples. Uh, to start, you know, building a base and uh, getting back into some heavier weight. So excited for that. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. If you're not subscribed, come on, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing here? Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Blessings.